receiving divine love was only possible after I'd received it. I know this is going to be very hard for you to, to take, take in, but it's the truth of what happened. Um, in the first century, I was the first person to receive divine love that had ever received divine love on this earth. There's other earths where other people had received divine love. But on this earth, I was the first person to receive it. Somebody's got to be first, right? Buddha is now in the sixth year. <coughs> Muhammad is in the sixth year as well. Uh, all in the sixth year. Uh, Gandhi, you've heard of Gandhi? You know Gandhi? Gandhi's in the celestial spheres. Who else do you want to ask about? <laughs> Mother Teresa is in the fifth sphere. Well, you can talk to your spirit friends whenever you like, right? You can find out these things and you can also, every one of you spend your life in the sleep state in the spirit world. You just don't remember it. Where he may have been or is? In the first sphere. In terms of his condition now? He's in his lifetime of helping. Has he passed recently, is he? Oh, no. I'm sorry. I think I'm not going to comment about, oh, the, about where everyone is in their awake state. Does God have a desire for us as souls? Yes. God has a desire to, to, for you to experience her love. Mm. And, and her desire is... One thing you will come to realise is her desire is so powerful that it will constantly overwhelm you on the path of divine progression. Right? The desire that God has for you is burning within her constantly. Um, if you have been described as the son of God, does that just make us all children of God? We are all sons and all daughters all of God. The same, not yes. you, not just something different, well, only in your progression. Well, in the first century, the reason why I described myself as the son of God was because I was the first child of God to actually become a son at the soul level. Do you understand what I mean by that? The soul level, becoming a son of God at the soul level means receiving divine love to the point of being born again as a child. Born again not as a physical child, but as a child at the soul level in your relationship with God. Every one of you can go through this process. You will experience some amazing experiences if you choose to. Right? And, and that process of being born again makes you a true son of God or daughter of God. Up until then, you are a child of God at the soul level in the sense that God created you, but you are unaware of the relationship. When you become aware of the relationship is when you enter the eighth sphere. And you now are perfectly aware of your true relationship with God.